Many times your data is available in Excel sheet. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to bring the data that's stored in an Excel sheet into MySQL database. There are two requirements for you to connect MySQL with Excel. One is you need MySQL connector slash net for Microsoft Windows. The other is MySQL Excel add-in. That's also available from MySQL site. To download the connector, go to dev.mysql.com and under the downloads, you'll see the connector.net option. Go ahead and download it. If you have done a typical install, if you have done a typical install, then you should already have this, but go ahead and download it again. It's not gonna harm anything. Next is you need MySQL Excel add-in. To verify if it's available to you, you can go over to the data tab in your Excel. You should see an icon for MySQL for Excel. If that's available, then you have this add-on already installed. If not, you can go ahead and download that from MySQL for Excel. Once these installs are done, then you're ready for the next steps. Go ahead and open your Excel sheet. Once you have the Excel sheet open, go to the data tab. In this data tab, you will see an option to connect to MySQL. This is where you can export Excel data into MySQL. Click on it. It'll open connection window. It automatically creates a connection with your local MySQL instance. If you do not want to use that, you can create another connection here. We're going to use local instant connection because our MySQL is stored in this local machine. Go ahead and enter your password. And I set it as password, so P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice that you've got the schemas. Now you'll notice that you have the schemas available here. We are using Skila schema, so go ahead and click on it. Now go ahead and select the data that you want to export to MySQL. So we're going to go ahead and select our columns and the data. You'll see this option export Excel data to new table gets enabled. Go ahead and click on it. And now it opens up an option for you to give table a name and also shows you the data that you have selected in the columns. So go ahead and give your table a name. We'll call it leave the collation as schema default. And then you have to choose a primary key. You can either add a primary key column, which will be a new column, or use an existing column. We are going to use customer ID as our existing column as the primary key. Then you'll see you have these options where you can choose whether the first row contains column names or not. And then your data is previewed here. Other options for your column information can be selected here. So customer ID is our primary key. We'll leave it there and then large purchase date. What's the data type? Once you're satisfied with these options, go ahead and click on export data and operation completed successfully. Go ahead and click OK. Now let's go to MySQL. Go ahead and open MySQL. Browse to your Sequila look at your tables and you should see customer purchase. Go ahead and browse it. And here you have that record. So this is how you export your Excel sheet into MySQL database.